we're Ooh. going hiking today. Yes, we're going hiking today, aren't we? I thought it would be fun if Layla and I went ahead and baked some shamrock cookies. Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful weekend morning. And, and we're going Ooh. hiking today. Yes, we're going hiking today, aren't we? We are going to go do this storybook hike near our house that I never even knew existed. I've heard about these before. They're actually kind of all over the place. You should check and see if there's one um, where you live. But it's a hike, and throughout the path, they have like one page of a story. So you read this children's story as you're hiking. So it's like a fun way to get your kids active and outdoors and I'm so excited it's like two minutes away from us so we are gonna be going to do that later oh wow she's they're playing hide-and-seek can you see where Layla hide ah, there you are right out in the open <laughs> that's how a toddler plays hide-and-seek I am so excited because first and foremost I just want to say I am oh my gosh they are crazy that is how a dad plays with kids mommy doesn't play like that I'm like Let's play school. Let's do like arts and crafts. Daddy's like, let me throw you around. While they're doing that, I'm gonna talk to you all because if I watch them, I'm gonna get nervous that Shay's gonna drop her. I am officially in my third trimester. Woo! I'm so excited. I honestly, I know some people a lot of times feel like their pregnancy goes by slow, but I feel like this pregnancy has gone by so much faster than when I was with Layla. Maybe because it's I'm so busy taking care of a toddler while being pregnant that just the weeks just fly by. Like I don't have some time to just sit and think about it. Like what week I'm on, like all of a sudden I'm week 27. I am officially third trimester. I am really excited that it's the weekend because Brian is able to play with Layla. Layla some so I can kind of take a little break I know I'm going hiking today but it should be a leisure walk but I've been really tired and sore lately and as I mentioned in my last pregnancy vlog I now have varicose veins I've never experienced those before and let me tell you they are painful I like feel sorry if I ever heard somebody had those before and I didn't take them seriously they are awful anytime I get a chance to like sit down and not be on my feet oh my gosh I take it so it's weekends are always nice because I get to take a little breather and sit more and let Brian have some time with Layla but I do want to do the storybook walk because it looks so cute so I'm just gonna suck it up and do it I actually got some new compression underwear that's supposed to help and it does a little bit not very cute or anything, but you know what? I'll take any relief I can. This will hopefully help with the hike, which we're going to be going and doing soon because it's supposed to be hot today. So we need to get out there before the heat comes. So a few days ago, one of our neighbor's bearded dragons, um, Nathan is his name, got out of his cage and is missing somewhere in the neighborhood. So we have all the kids. Everyone's been looking for him every day. So anytime we hear something, even though it's probably just one of the smaller lizards we have, we always are saying, Nathan, is that Nathan? So if anyone has ever lost a bearded dragon and you have some tips on how to get them back or how to lure them back to the house, let us know in the comments below because my neighbors would be very appreciative because they really miss them. Every day, Layla asks me, how big's the baby? And I kind of show her and she dramatically makes it a lot bigger. I'm like, I hope my baby's not that big. <laughs> That's gonna be awful. But that reminds me, I should go get my baby app, my baby center app, and see exactly how big the baby is now and about how much it weighs now that I'm 27 weeks. So according to the baby center app, I have 91 days left in the pregnancy. The baby is about 14 and a half inches and roughly two pounds and about the size of a head of cauliflower. So I should have told Layla that. So the baby's eyelids, which have been fused shut, can now open and close and she may blink in response to light. Oh, this is interesting. It says, if you shine a flashlight at your tummy, you may feel her respond with bursts of flutters and wiggles. <gasps> Maybe we'll try that later. See if that happens. Oh, you might start feeling baby hiccups. That's cute. I really didn't feel many baby hiccups with Layla, so that will be kind of fun if I do with this baby. Oh, this is fun. There's always something fun for women when they're pregnant. Um, you might start having more body hair. That's cool. Um, that's because of an increase in hormones. And you might start getting restless legs. Yes, like a creepy crawly sensation in your lower legs or an existable urge to move while trying to relax or sleep. This is restless leg syndrome, and I am definitely getting that lately. It's not fun. Gosh, there's always something fun in pregnancy, right? <laughs> um, but okay, that's cool. I want to try this flashlight thing. That's cool. The baby now has eyelids, and she can open her, close her eyes. 
And guess what? She can respond to light. Six scale. Oh, oh, bossy. Okay, so here you go. You guys get a little bump shot. See if I feel anything. Don't feel anything right now. Layla, I think the baby's moving. She's going, oh, that's bright. That's bright. Oh, now it's in my eyes. That's bright. So Layla has felt the baby move, right? And now I think anytime she puts her hand on my tummy, she just goes, oh, like she felt the baby move, even though I don't think the baby was moving. But she insists it was every time now. This is kind of a new fun thing for her. Okay, I just need to show everybody Layla's awesome hiking outfit. I love it. She decided to wear these shoes, which I kind of forgot we had. Those are LeBron shoes that daddy bought you. Four years ago, yeah, four years ago, thinking they would fit her, but now they finally do. Then we have her hat that she chose. Honey, you are gonna be awesome. And she's requested a snack before for the trail. So a bagel with barbecue sauce and cheese. She's adamant that's gonna be good. Brian sees this as a challenge. Let's see, that's going on your bagel. I just had a random pregnancy craving there. Burger with cheese. It sounds really good. Mmm. Now see, that looks like food that a pregnant woman would want to eat. Hey, Daddy wants to try it. Curiosity got the best of you. Is That's it actually good? good? <laughs> this is so pretty back here. All right, so apparently there are 20 plaques with a story on it. Taking a quick detour because this just looked so pretty. Let's see what this is. Oh, so the book is Forenzi's Light. I, we've never read this book. It says Forenzi likes dancing. Forenzi likes books. But there is one thing Forenzi does not like. <gasps> what do you think he doesn't like, Layla? I don't know. I don't know. Should we go to the next one? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay, part four. It says Forenzi does not like her light. It's always shining at the wrong time. Oh, Layla, she's a firefly. We know fireflies. It says it shines at the movies, at slumber parties, and during games of hide and seek. Oh yeah, that wouldn't be good, would it? All right, I'm gonna let Brian read this one because I just had to inform you all, I got a text message from a group of moms in my neighborhood that Nathan the lizard was found. He has been missing for four days, so I was kind of giving up hope, but he was found, so never give up hope if your pet is lost. Oh my gosh, I'm so relieved. Okay, now we can get back to the story walk. I picked up a little hiking stick or walking stick for Layla Jane, thinking I might get her out of the stroller to walk some. She's just doing it while she's in the stroller now. I'm making it look like she's using it, but no, she's just sitting in the stroller. That was super cute and such a fun way just kind of get out, get some fresh air and fun for the kids. Um, I imagined her a little bit more like running from one page to the next, but you know, that's okay. She still enjoyed it. So I would encourage you to look up like story walks near you. See if you have anything like this. Just got home from hiking and running a few errands and later on today we might have a few neighbor kids come over and I thought it would be fun if Layla and I went ahead and baked some shamrock cookies and then all the kids can decorate them when they come over. Now I am cheating a little bit because I just bought the pre-made sugar cookie dough, but I figured that's gonna be okay still. working too well. It didn't matter what I did, it was sticking so much and you couldn't get the shape. So plan B is we're just gonna bake them and then maybe when they come out of the oven, we'll use a cookie cutter if they're big enough and make it into shamrocks. Plan C, they just stay circles and we still decorate them with green frosting. Eh, either way it's gonna look cute. All right, so here was our four leaf clover. That did not withstand the oven, but our circle ones look great. Let's see, let's take this one and see if this will work. I've never done a cookie cutter after they've been. I feel like I should do it while it's soft. Okay, that looks okay. That stem doesn't look like it'll hold up well. Layla, I think we should just make circle cookies and decorate them with green. We're gonna do the rest of these. And Layla, here's a little trick to make store-bought sugar cookie recipes taste even better. Dip each side in a bowl of sugar. And then flip it and do the other side. And now stick it on there. 
We're gonna do that with all those, okay? a lot. Oh yeah, that's a good. Wow, they should make those holes smaller. Well, I'm gonna let her eat that and have a little sugar high for now, and then get ready and make the rest of these before her friends come over and we have a cookie decorating party. Thanks so much for watching everyone and joining me on my journey. Let's get through this last trimester, right? Almost there.